Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. I have some exciting updates to share with you guys. I'm also going to be going through a walkthrough on how to manually add the Xcore token to your Ledger device. Lots of people who watched my previous video explaining how if you hold XRP, if you hold Solo, you will be able to qualify for Xcore airdrop, which is basically free money. So you're going to want to learn how to set these uh, trust lines on all of your devices that have XRP and Solo in it. A lot of people who hold XRP hold, uh, have ledgers. So this is basically the easiest demo on how to get set up. I have some instructions that will be in the description below. So just follow and copy and paste the information that I provided and you'll be all set up. The, the snapshot is happening on, I believe, uh, March 24th. March 24th, and it will be distributed in uh, May 15th. Uh, that's what I, this is going off the top of my head. So I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm going to edit it in the description as well. So the first step, what you're going to do is go to uh, xrptoolkit.com. Uh, you're going to connect your ledger. How do you do that? Well, you hit the top right corner. It's going to say add account. You'll click add account. And then you're going to sync your ledger device to your um, XRP toolkit. Okay. Next, you'll see your assets. And what you're going to do is go down to, you'll see add asset, custom edit. So we're going to custom edit. So you're going to need the issuer, you're going to need the currency and the limit. I provided all the information in the description for you guys. So the issuer is this right here. You will copy and paste that under issuer. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The currency code, copy that. Paste it. The limit, copy it, paste it, follow the instructions. You'll then see your X core trust line appear. I will say zero. It will cost you, won't cost you. It will hold two XRP in a reserve as long as you have that trust line set up. So that is basically the simplest way. It's very easy. Uh, just basically use the information below, follow the instructions, and you will have your X core trust line set up and just be patient, just be patient and you will receive an airdrop based on your XRP and solo, solo holdings. The more people that participate, the less there is to go around. So uh, we don't know the exact number like percentage yet until after the snapshot. I saw some bullish news. It seems like a lot is going down in March. We just covered in one of my previous videos. There's a pilot test going on for tokenized securities that's going live in March. Go ahead and Google it yourself. Type in March 2023 pilot tokenization and you'll see a bunch of articles talking about it. I had a video in my last article. But now with the latest twist in the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit, there's been motions that must be filed by January 13th and this will push the resolution of the lawsuit back until March of 2023 which is the best case time frame for the resolution of this lawsuit. We have Corium mainnet launch supposedly happen. Well, uh, not supposedly March 24th. We have the tokenization pilot basically going into effect March 23rd, 2023. Now we have a possible ripple settlement or well, not settlement, a ripple victory even in March. They could win in March, all this causing a ripple effect or a butterfly effect. Where have we heard this before? Where have we heard this before? Ripple will win the case, Bob Ross says. Personal opinion and not financial advice, though. Then someone responds to him, win license. Then he responds, butterfly effect. Butterfly effect. So a lot is dependent on Ripple winning the case. There's been some narratives of new people coming into the community who uh, we definitely want new people coming in, but people have been saying Ripple might lose. Uh, being a part of the Sologenic ecosystem, I fully support and I really pray on a daily basis that Ripple will win this lawsuit. We could get this over with and see this butterfly effect of all the stuff that they've been building for all these years. So I'm really excited that this could be wrapped up by March, creating a butterfly effect of tokenization of um, 
you know, Corium development happening in March as well. Mainnet going live, a domino effect. So now let's move over. Uh, let me show you guys what's happening in the cosmos. Uh, cosmos continues to become more and more adopted, which is what we want to see. Um, that's basically uh, right here. Cosmos IBC is rising as the leading interoperability solution. It has the third highest 30 day volume of cross chain bridges. IBC accounted for more than 0.7 billion of cross chain volume and was ranked third highest in volume after multi chain and Arbitrum. So, the year ahead for infrastructure, this is an article. This person comments, and I agree IBC will be 10x in one year and far beyond anyone else. And then Ethereum will connect to IBC. And you already know what that's going to do. Blow it up. So I'm really bullish on IBC. If you guys have been watching my videos the whole year, we've been studying IBC tech and Cosmos tech. And there's lots of cool options, lots of things you can learn. There's a, so much variety in the Cosmos ecosystem for developers. You have the Cosmos Wasm, Rust-based. This is what Corium is based off. Let me highlight one more thing on Corium real quick. Corium on the XRP ledger actually just flipped solo. So in 24 hour volume, Corium is actually leading as number one at the moment. So usually Sologenics leading in 24 volume on the XRP ledger. So that's something pretty cool to share. But this is what Corium is based on, Cosm Wasm. Then you have Agoric, which is JavaScript based. Then you have Nolands, which is Golang based. And you have Nitro Labs, which is Solana VM based. And you have Evmos org, EVM based. Tons of amazing tools. Tons of amazing tools. This is why, you know, tribalism, I believe, is dumb. Because it's all based on, you know, different utilities. Different each chain is going to offer their own specialties. And that's going to be the beautiful, beautiful thing about this decentralized future is all these amazing options. And some you'll resonate and really love. Others you won't want to be involved with. And some will have amazing communities and some will have uh, not that amazing communities. So it's really going to be cool to see how this uh, develops. But Rust is a great uh, language for smart contracts. That's a lot of what uh, uh, Cosm Wasm is based off of. So the one of the reasons I brought this up, because uh, I want to prove with real world evidence that Ripple does have a lot of interest in Cosmos ecosystem because this Agoric project was actually uh, backed by Ripple's Xpring, uh, their venture program that they had years back. They helped raise 4 million for Agoric. And this is for JavaScript based smart contracts in the Cosmos. So, you know, there you see the connection between Ripple and Cosmos again appear, you know, so, I'm going to finish off the video with just some general news because, you know, uh, it's been a brutal year. 2022 is almost over. Uh, as far as the price uh, in a lot of these assets, a lot of people have, you know, it hasn't been a great year. It's been pretty brutal. It's a crypto winter. And uh, despite the heat of the bear market, adoption did not take a back seat in the crypto industry. Throughout the year, prominent firms have made big moves in the crypto market. Fidelity, one of the largest brokerages in the world, rolled out commission-free crypto trading for retail investors. Time and again, the firm was seen embracing Bitcoin. Now Fidelity is turning its focus from Bitcoin to NFTs. As per recent trademark applications, so they just filed a trademark in the United States, Fidelity Investments getting ready to roll out a slew of Web3 products and services. This application was mentioned, a non-fungible token NFT marketplace, along with crypto trading services in the metaverse. So when people are telling you, you know, crypto's dead, it's no longer cool, it's not the wave anymore, you know, this is the time when you should be loading up when you see the big boys making moves. Well, I shouldn't be say that. I can't give financial advice. I'll say this. Smart people are building, developing, and accumulating in the bear market from what I've seen. And then, you know, when 
that's when nobody's really talking about it. And then when your grandma is talking about how many people had discussions about crypto at Christmas this year, my family did not bring up crypto one time. Back when it's a bull market, they're all talking about it. It's a dinner conversation. You know, that's when, you know, you know, it's towards the peak of one of these crypto bull rallies, you know, but, uh, Everyone doesn't, no one really talks about it. People have become bearish on crypto and some people say it's not part of the future, but the largest players in the world, if you don't know how big Fidelity is, they're getting ready and positioned for this Web3 world. They're getting ready for the tokenized NFT future, just like we are in the Zen Lounge. They're studying what we're studying. Like we're so ahead of the future. It's insane. Fidelity has 9.6 trillion assets under administration. They have 40 million individual investors that they're going to be opening up NFTs, this whole new wave, this whole new generation of ideas. And we know in the Zen Lounge, we've studied NFTs a lot. There's so much more than just JPEGs. They're limitless. So, you know, this got me really excited. I'm way more hopeful for 2023 than I am uh, after going through this whole year, I think that, you know, the strong will get stronger and we're going to, you know, really experience amazing times next bull cycle. And the market is going to shake out a lot of paper hands. That's just how it happens. They'll be back when grandma's talking about it at Christmas though. Watch but everybody have an awesome day. Uh, check out the links in the description. Uh, you know, really exciting times ahead. We got, more airdrops coming, more passive income. You know, that's what I'm all about. Uh, thank you for visiting my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Help me hit 10,000 subs. That will be legendary for me if I could hit 10,000 subs. So would appreciate all the support with the subscriptions. I'll continue to bring you XRP Ledger, Sologenic Corium news, and I'll continue to do my best for you guys every single day. Follow me on Twitter, ZenWarrior113. And uh, yeah, everybody peace out. Happy holidays. And hopefully you guys got some exciting plans for New Year's. Happy New Year's too. Peace.